please rise for the academic procession with senior administrators, deans, acting provost Vicki Wilkins, and President Sylvia Burwell. Assembled guests, please take your seats. The program is about to begin. Please first silence your cell phones. First of all, please be seated and please join me in thanking the Macmillan Pipe Band again. Terrific. Good morning, students. My name is Raymond O, oh, the Vice President of Student Affairs here at American University. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you. Wow, you are a fine looking crowd. You're welcome. I'd also like to welcome our many faculty, staff, special guests, and give a quick shout out to the resident advisor and orientation leaders for facilitating a smooth move-in process for a part of our All-American Welcome. And when you see your resident advisor and OL, please thank them and remind them to get some sleep. We want you to feel welcome on campus, and it's been such a pleasure to have already met many of you. Where are my step students? That's right, I remember meeting you. Yep. And how many of you did the Eagle Summit launch on Wednesday? Let's do that again. Wednesday? <laughs> and Thursday? All right. Like you, dear Eagles, I'm also new to the AU community. I first came to campus seven weeks ago. So this is first, my first AU Convocation too. Thank you. <laughs> Let us mark this important AU Convocation tradition by taking a moment to breathe and take it all in.
Thank you. Taking a moment to reflect will encourage you to be mindful of meaningful experiences on campus, and I can promise you that you will have many meaningful experiences at AU. As the Vice President of Student Affairs, I oversee the Division of Student Affairs, or DSA. We love acronyms at AU, which includes many of the non-academic offices that promote your well-being and engagement. And I know that the whole Student Affairs team is thrilled about the renovations planned for our offices in the Mary Graydon Center, MGC, and all the new things to come with the Student Wellbeing Commons in the Allen and Amy Meltzer Center for Athletic Performance. This student thriving complex will promote your holistic development here at AU, because to be a change maker, a leader who makes meaningful compact, uh, meaningful, meaningful impact in the world, sorry, I'm a little nervous, meaningful impact on the world, you need to develop holistically, emotionally, physically, socially, spiritually, not just academically. At AU, we don't want you to just survive college, we want you to thrive to be part of a vibrant, stimulating, and fun, yes, fun environment. In short, you're home, and we're glad that you're here. Now, thank you. <laughs> now, let me introduce my wonderful colleagues here today. Sylvia Burwell, President. Vicki Wilkins, Acting Provost and Chief Academic Officer. Janice Abraham, Member, Board of Trustees. Mark Duber, Member, Board of Trustees. Lillian Beza Mendoza, Faculty Member, Board of Trustees. Jehan Jidro, Student Member, Board of Trustees. Tom Merrill, Faculty Member, Board of Trustees. Bradley White, Secretary of the Alumni Board. John Wisman, Professor of Economics and Scholar Teacher of the Year. Edwin Santos, Student Government President. Ah, my friend, Matt Bennett, Vice President and Chief Communication Officer. Courtney Searles, Vice President, University Advancement. Billy Walker, Director, Athletics and Recreation. Acting Provost Wilkins will now introduce the members of the Dean's Council. Good morning. Welcome to the class of 2027 and all of our incoming students. Yay. We are so happy to see you here in your new home and welcome you to our vibrant community. You're a big part of the happy that comes to AU every year and we are so glad that you're with us. Today, I have the lucky job of introducing my colleagues, people I work with every day, and who lead the schools that you will be part of. I'm humbled and inspired by them, and if you probably would say it, you might say, they slay and I'm obsessed. So show some love for your deans. <laughs> Linda Aldori, Dean of the College of Arts and Science. <laughs> Wendy Bolin, Dean of Graduate and Professional Studies. <laughs> Corbin Campbell, Acting Dean, School of Education. G. Davis, University Librarian. Roger Fairfax, Dean of the Washington College of Law. Shannon Hader, Dean of the School of International Service. Rodney Hobson, Acting Dean, School of Education. Yay. Allison Jacknowis, Interim, Interim Dean, School of Public Affairs. 
Lena Jaiswal, Interim Dean, School of Communication. <laughs> David Marchick, Dean of the Kogod School of Business. <laughs> and Bridget Trojan, Dean of Undergraduate Education and Academic Student Services. <laughs> Back to you. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Secretary of the Alumni Board, Bradley White. Bradley White is a past chair of the American University Black Alumni Alliance. Prior to becoming chair, Bradley also served as the vice chair for two years. He's also the founding co-chair of the AU Gospel Choir Alumni Affinity Network. Professionally, Bradley is the Senior Director for Freedom Information Act Litigation, Appeals, and Policy for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. He previously served as the FOIA Officer for the DHS Officer for Civil Rights and Civil Liberties. Bradley is currently a member of the FOIA Advisory Committee, a group of 20 FOIA experts from the government and private sector created to foster dialogue and develop recommendations for improving FOIA administration through the government. As an alumni volunteer, Bradley hopes to make AU feel as welcoming and safe for all students as he and his family felt. Welcome, Bradley. <laughs> Eagles, good morning. Uh, as you just heard, my name is Bradley White, and I am so excited to welcome you, class of 2027, to American University on behalf of the American University Alumni Association and our community of more than 145,000 alumni around the globe. We are led by Alumni Board President Latanya Southern, and we are joined in welcoming you today by members of the class of 1973, right Woo! over there. <clears throat> Golden Eagles, who are celebrating their 50th reunion this year. We hope that you will find the same home here that they did, and that you'll be back to celebrate your 50th reunion in 2077. I'll be 100, I might not make it, but if I'm alive, I'll be there. <laughs> Here at AU, we really do believe that you were change makers, and I hope that each of you embrace that. The faculty, the staff, the administration led by President Burwell and her cabinet embody that identity every day. Now, as someone who's been where you are, I believe there are a few things I've learned that might help start your journey here at AU. First, remember who you are and why you're here. When you encounter challenges, well, use that to center yourself. Papers, midterms, and finals can absolutely be tough, but you've written papers and you've taken tests before. You still got here. You belong here, all of you. Hold on to that. Second, find your people. You'll only be in class for about 15 hours a week. That leaves you with 153 hours. Fill them with community. Get involved. Join an organization. Play an intramural sport. Get to know the folks on your floor. Start a feel like. Those are the connections that can make AU feel like. Even if your home is 5,000 miles away like mine. Was. The friends I made in the gospel choir, in the Black Student Union, over there in McDowell Hall on these basketball courts right here, we're still close. They're why I love this place. Third, get to know your professors and the staff here at AU. They've done the things you dream of doing, or they know people who have. They could be the reference that gets you into law school or the encouragement to write your own play, an ear or an inspiration, depending on what you need. And they want to know you. Remember. AU students are amazing. You just might inspire them. Lastly, lean on us. The alumni community wants to see you shine. We want to see you take this legacy of ours and run with it. We, especially us alumni volunteers, are here to support you. So thank you again. Welcome to American University. I can't wait to see what you do. And speaking of amazing AU students, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Edward Santos. He is your student body president for the 2023-2024 academic year, an SBA student 
love that. And after he graduates with his BA this year and his MPA next year, he plans to attend law school. I know about that. Um, <laughs> with a top ranked immigration clinic, too, if you're trying to be a triple legal. So please, put your hands together for Edwin Santos. So before I get started, I just want to do a shameless plug. Make sure to follow AU Student Gov on Instagram and underscore President Santos to stay up to date on everything we're doing this year because if you get to see what student orgs and campus life is like, you'll see that Instagram is the way that you'll get involved. It's the way you'll find out what's going on on campus. So I just want to put that out there. And also kind of on what Bradley um, talked about, I just want to share a few tips on what has guided me and what has helped me out. So this has been your first few days as AU students, and you're probably already overwhelmed with campus life, trying to make friends, adjusting to an entirely new different city, and thinking about classes. Let me add to your stress by telling you that this will be the most easiest stress-free week you experience here at AU. <laughs> yes, college will be stressful, but it will also be the best years of your life. So as you begin this journey, here are my tips. One. Be responsible, stay true to yourself, and be meaningful and respectful to your boundaries. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Every year I see how first year students try to do things really fast and just experience new things. Don't push your limits and don't let others do so either. And understanding your limitations isn't exclusive to just trying new things. It applies to when you need to know when you need to go to sleep and stop studying and not spend the whole night in the library or when you're involved in too many things at once. Which leads me to number two, find a balance, prioritize your mental, physical, and emotional health. Here at AU and in the broader DC area, everyone is highly ambitious, and it can seem as if, as if you shouldn't be involved in 100 things at a time. But trust me when I say quality over quantity, and success is not worth it when you're sacrificing yourself. Three, go out of your way to find your community. College is just as much about the people you meet and the relationships you build as it is about the classes you take. Embrace the awkwardness of making friends because in these connections, you'll find support, love, and understanding. And four, remember why you came here. We all need something at the forefront of our efforts that keep us grounded when we feel like giving up. Take a second to think about your story, how you've gotten to this very moment and the why behind the path ahead of you. When you're brought down, hold on to the power of your story. And remember, you were chosen for a reason. Each and every one of you are here because you are smart and ambitious enough to succeed. I'm gonna be very honest. AU was not my first choice. It was not my dream school. I didn't even know about it until a friend of a friend said I should apply. I was scared coming into a predominantly white institution as a first generation Latino student. Now, I wouldn't trade my experience for anything in the world. I have met my best friends. I have taken the most interesting classes ever. I have engaged with the most incredible professors, I have traveled the world, and I have participated in once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. College has not been easy, but finding my community and staying true to my why have been guiding lights when things get tough. And now I extend the same support to you. Know that you have a whole community of eagles cheering you on, including the student government and myself. I have no doubt that you'll be able to soar to unimaginable heights as you spread your wings and taking all the AU has to offer. Welcome to the American University. Thank you, Edwin. I now have the privilege of introducing the 2023 Scholar Teacher of the Year, Professor John Witzman. The university's highest faculty honor, the Scholar Teacher Award of the Year, recognizes excellence in both research and teaching. Because here at AU, we believe that the combination of these critical endeavors creates a, the very best student experience at all levels. A professor in the Economics Department in the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Wisman has taught a broad range of courses to undergraduates and graduate students. His most recent book, The Origins and Dynamics of Inequality, Sex, Politics, and Ideology, was published by Oxford University Press in June of 2022. He's written articles and chapters for a wide variety of journals, 
and edited Work Empowerment, the Struggle of, for Workplace Democracy. Much of his recent work addresses topics related to the history of economic thought, guaranteed employment, the role of inequality in generating economic crises, and environmental devastation. During 2002, Professor Wisman served as the president of the Association for Social Economics. This association granted him two of their highest awards, the Thomas F. Devine Award for Important Lifelong Scholarly Contribution to Social Economics and the Ludwig Mai Service Award. With co-author Quentin Durer, he was the winner of the 2020 Journal of Economic Issues Editor's Prize for Best Article. He is also this year's recipient of the Vimlin uh, Commons Award for Outstanding Contributions to e Evolutionary Economics, the highest honor granted by the Association of Evolutionary Economics. And throughout his career at AU, he rides his bike every day to work. I hope you will join me in thanking and honoring Professor Wis Wisman for his extraordinary contributions to AU and to his field, and congratulate him in being named the 2023 Scholar Teacher of the Year. Now, Thank you for those kind and supportive words. It's a great honor to be asked to welcome you and share some thoughts with you, our class of 2027. I recall so vividly, even though it's a long time ago, the excitement I felt in beginning my university studies. I'm sure you're all equally enthused, and you should be. The university is a very special place. It's dedicated to the discovery and dissemination of knowledge. In the Western world, the oldest continuously operating degree-granting university dates back to 839, when a Muslim woman, Fatima Alpiri, founded the University of al Karouin in Fez, Morocco. Central to what makes a university so very special is that it provides greater freedom of expression than found in any other social institution. This freedom of expression means that you and your professors can write and say things that may be radical, challenging to conventional political, social, and even moral understanding. Universities are dedicated to this freedom. This is because freedom of expression is essential for a free and dynamic economy. But dedication to this freedom is also because it promises best to expand an, our understanding of our reality, our world. Thus, you can expect to encounter many novel ideas, some of which may shock you. Typically, a student will take about 40 differing courses on the way to getting a bachelor's degree. If all of these courses were taken with different professors, this would mean encountering the unique ideas of 40 different highly trained intellectual minds. Together, they will provide you with a rich understanding of our intellectual world today. Many of the ideas you encounter will become very special to you, but don't marry them. We should be faithful and loyal to the ones we love, but not to specific ideas. 
be intellectually promiscuous if a really attractive idea comes by go for it flirt with it and if it's really good have an affair with it But don't marry it. <laughs> Uncritically holding on to an idea is a tragic mistake. The recipe for a closed mind and the source of dogmatism. So play the field of ideas and have a good time doing it. My beloved American University has greatly honored me by choosing me for the 2023 Scholar Teacher of the Year Award. So I'd like to say a few things about myself. I love adventure. When I was young, I pursued this physically by riding motorcycles, driving fast cars, and diving off high cliffs. But after a few painful accidents, I came to realize that pursuing adventure in these ways is dangerous. I could kill myself and end my adventure of learning. I do still ski, but I find ski snow quite forgiving. When I came to, what I came to realize when I was just about your age, well, is that one of life's greatest adventures is learning. At the foundation of this intellectual adventure is the wisdom of the classical Greek Delphic maxim, know thyself. It's by knowing ourselves that we come to understand how we should live our precious lives. And how do we come to understand ourselves? By the adventure of pushing beyond the frontiers of our personal knowledge. Through learning about the world and our place in it, we learn about ourselves. And this knowledge is important for humanity as it empowers us to participate in making the world a better place for all of humanity. The university provides an ideal environment for this great adventure of seeking knowledge. And it's proof of how wealthy our society has become that Young people, so many young people, can spend four years, perhaps more, just pursuing knowledge. That is so cool. You'll find that this pursuit is greatly enriched by the multicultural nature of American University and its deep commitment to diversity and tolerance. You'll meet students and faculty members from differing cultures from around the world. You'll be so taken by some ideas that you'll stay up quite late at night discussing them with new, exciting, diverse friends. I wish to end these remarks by noting how happy I've been to be part of American University. I've been here a very long time. I'm like furniture, bolted down furniture. Everyone here at American University has always treated me with kind generosity and respect. As I've carried out my own adventure in pursuing knowledge and helping my students do the same. 
I think of my scholarly work as the adventure of expanding, pushing out the frontiers of knowledge. I think of my teaching as helping my students recognize that their own pursuit of knowledge is best experienced as one of life's greatest adventures. One that gets richer over time and never gets old. My career here at American University has been the best of good fortune. And your years here will surely be the same. I look forward to seeing you in some of my courses over the next four years. So once again, welcome to the AU community. Thank you for that priceless advice, uh, Professor Wisman. It is now my pleasure to introduce someone who needs no introduction at American University, and that is our 15th president and the first woman to serve as the president of American University, Sylvia Burwell. <laughs> president Burwell is an experienced leader who has spent the past six years helping AU excel as a leading student-centered research university. Prior to AU, President Burwell held two cabinet positions in the U.S. government, serving as Secretary of Health and Human Services and Director of the Office of Management and Budget. She also held leadership positions at two of the largest foundations in the world, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Walmart Foundation. But you will get to know her as your president, AU's greatest cheerleader, and someone who deep cares deeply about your experience. Please join me in welcoming President Sylvia Burwell. Vicki, thank you so much. Thank you. And Raymond, Bradley, Edwin, and, and John, thank you. I'll connect John and Edwin's remarks. The Delphic Oracle had a second thing. Uh, it was know thyself and nothing in excess, which connects us to, to Edwin's uh, remarks. So thank you all for your all's inspiring words. And I want to thank everybody. Thank Actually, our two board members were whispering to me, I think I had John when I was here. Um, and trying to figure out which class. Thank you all so much for, for coming. And as has been mentioned, we are also joined by AU's class of 1973, who are celebrating their 50th reunion. And they're here um, today, I think it's a testament to the strength and distinction of this AU community and to what you will learn to say, which is once an eagle, always an eagle. So thank you all to our golden eagles. We're happy to have you welcoming our newest eagles to AU. And to our brand new AU eagles, welcome to you all. So glad you're here. This will be my seventh and my last year of welcoming a new class of AU students as president. And it is always one of the most invigorating and inspiring things to look at the sea of new faces. This and commencement. And just to remind you, next time we do this with the backpacks and everything, you all are in gowns too. It'll be a little warmer. Um, but it is wonderful. And I'm sure, actually, you've already heard a few stories about the first days of college memories, so I'm not going to go there. You can ask me about that later if you want to. But I do want to say that the experiences, the relationships, the learning, the growth, the success, and the failures, and yes, we all have those failures, that's what lies ahead for you. And they're going to shape who you will become and what you're going to do for the rest of your life. And that's why all of us are here, because we know that this community doesn't just talk about becoming the change our world needs today. We live it, we embrace it, and we believe it. And most importantly for today, we believe in you. And in the months and years ahead, 
There are going to be times when you're going to question why you're here, you're going to wonder whether you can do it, and whether you're really prepared for the challenges ahead. But always remember, the truth is you are here because you belong here. And you are a part of a community that supports you and challenges you to be the change makers that you can. I want you to take a moment, look around you. Everybody kind of look to the left, look to the right. You all come from 47 different states and 47 different countries, from all walks of life and from all kinds of different experiences. Two thirds of you have already had a job or an internship. You bring new perspectives. You bring new approaches, but you share one common trait. You are all change makers. And you all are here because you persevered despite unprecedented challenges that you had to get here. And this incredible community that you are now part of, from our esteemed faculty, to our dedicated staff, to our global network of 145,000 alumni, including those golden eagles, you may want to meet them, your fellow students. This is a community that exists to support you and to challenge you to be your best selves. And as you start this journey, here's my charge to you. I'll do a charge at the other end when you leave and start another part of your journey, but here we go. You ready? Have fun. We're starting with that, number one. Two, take a break on the quad and breathe in that cool fall air, which I promise is coming. Join the American Bonga Crew, or our number one in North America model United Nations team, or check out the always underperforming improv show. Cheer on our Eagle athletes this Sunday. Do that. This Sunday right here at Bender Arena, we are having a Bender Blue out. Come and be part of breaking a record for the highest attendance of a volleyball game in all of D.C. Or just spend an afternoon going over to the AU Museum. There's so much, and this was something that Edwin and Bradley both spoke to. Try all of these things. And don't forget your new AU water bottle. Um, I've got mine right here. And that is because we are, we're the first university to achieve carbon neutrality, and we're committed to being a leader in sustainability. So I hope you're going to join us in our efforts to reduce single-use plastics and work on our way to zero waste. Be a part of it. Take your water bottle. And as Edwin so rightly pointed out, find your community and take the time to enjoy what will be among the most memorable and formative years of your life. And remember, you're here because you have what it takes to be here. It's going to be a great journey. And on behalf of the American University community, we are so glad you are here and we cannot wait to see what you become. I'm going to quote one of my former bosses, President Barack Obama, and he said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or if we wait for some time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change we seek. So welcome to our community of change makers. Thank you so much, President Burwell. Thank you, New Eagles, for joining us for convocation. You will now head to your respective school welcome to spend time in the community. Before making your way, we ask that you remain seated for just a few more minutes until the platform party has recessed. <laughs> 